so in this tutorial, we're going to create this awesome flipbook effect. And yeah, it's surprisingly easy to do. So I had this task of um, creating this flipbook. So the pages kind of animate and also uh, that animation plays in the middle. So initially I just panicked. I was like, how the hell am I going to do this? But uh, with Cinema 4D, as usual, it's super simple. So I'm just going to start a new scene and we're just going to start fresh. I've got a custom scene set up. I'm just going to delete that cube. And my custom scene is very simple. I've just got a floor, some lights, uh, turn a camera, uh, sky and background. So don't worry about any of that. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually just going to hide the floor so you don't get confused. I'm going to create a plane, not a cube, a plane. OK, I'm going to make this 300 by 400. And the segments I'm going to reduce down to four by eight. So we have this kind of nice sheet of paper. Is this the wrong way? Yes. OK. So I'm going to click here, make editable. And I'm going to move the anchor. So I'm going to click here. And I'm just going to pull this anchor back so it's at um, the top of the page here. So we can actually turn on snapping, uh, enable snap, and go to edge snap and pop that should kind of snap to the vertex or to the edge and I'm just going to click this again to deactivate uh, anchor mode and now if we click on the plane go to coordinates and choose P just rotate P it should rotate like this which is what we want so that's step one um, step two I'm actually just going to create some animation so I'm going to start it at 10 put a keyframe here just click this uh, circle Go to frame 40 and move this up, not all the way, but to maybe minus 50. Click to make a keyframe and just play this back. So we have this animation. Great. Very simple. Okay. Next, before I add this to a cloner to create multiple pages, I'm going to choose Alt G, which puts it into a group. So we're basically grouping this animation. And now I'm going to create a cloner. So I'm going to go MoGraph cloner and I'm going to drop this null into the cloner, which holds our plane animation. As you can see, we get three sheets of paper. It's already all set up. I want uh, 24 sheets of paper. And as you can see, there are two kind of um, the spacing is too much. And that's to do with this Y value here. So I'm going to make this um, minus. 0.09 and now the papers all like stacked uh, a bit closer together and in the right direction because we put minus so I'm just going to play this back and everything's animating at the same time okay so the way to get around this wh whenever you want some kind of like staggered effect it's usually the step effector you want so I'm going to click on the cloner and I'm going to go to MoGraph Effector and I'm going to choose Step. Right now it's using Scale. We're not interested in Scale. Uh, because we want to stagger the frames of an animation, we're actually going to choose Time. So Time Offset, I'm going to make 50 frames. And I'm just going to play this back. And we have our cool flipbook effect. That was it. It's just so simple. Okay. So you want to position the camera so you're kind of looking at the sheets like um, at an angle where you where you will be able to see that animation playing in the middle. So next, um, I'm just going to hit Alt G again on the cloner and put it into another null group. The reason for this is if you want to add a bend deformer, it's optional. Uh, you'd have to put this below the cloner in that null group so it affects the cloner. Uh, to explain what I mean, I'm just going to choose unlimited here and increase the strength. As you can see, it's bending the entire animation. We just have to rotate this. Um, I think maybe minus 90, about here, yeah. So now we have this bend effect as well. Really cool. So already almost done, five minutes. Um, the final step is to add that sequence animation in the pages of the paper. So sounds like it's going to be really difficult. It's actually really easy. I'm just going to go to Gorad shading. 
Uh, I'm going to create a new material. <clears throat> Just go create new material, call this uh, flipbook. And I'm going to add this to the cloner. I'm going to click on the material. And in color, I'm going to choose texture, mole graph, multi shader. So multi-shader basically allows us to add multiple images to one uh, shader. So I'm just going to click on multi-shader and we can add from folder, which is what we want. Now, if you don't know um, how to create an image sequence, I'm going to create another tutorial separately for that. But I'm just going to assume now you have an image sequence. Uh, mine is in the run folder, so I'm just going to click on run, click OK. Uh, do you want to copy them? Just say no. And now I have the entire animation sequence loaded into that multi shader every frame. So the last crucial step is to choose index ratio. And now I'm just going to play this back. And the animation is working. It's that simple. You might want to position the camera at an angle where you can see that a bit better. You've got the bend deformer as well, remember, so um, you want to choose an angle where you can kind of see what's going on. But um, I'll leave that up to you, Actually, you definitely can't see it there. Um, maybe here. I think that bend might be too much. Not here, I guess. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, it's a unique tutorial. I just I, I came up with this uh, setup myself, so it shouldn't be anywhere else on YouTube. Uh, also, check out my friend's channel, Mimi's Art Space. It's got lots of uh, tutorials for kids. It's kind of more traditional painting, and it's really uh, it's like bright colors. It's a really cool channel, and um, I'll leave a link in the description when the channel's active. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the tutorial, and please share it. And thanks for watching.